commenting and subscribing. Okay. <clears throat> so, we are going to do story time again. But this time we're going to be talking about worst works, work experience. Um, first one, I've had many a job <laughs> for my age and she has not. So I figured I'd have more, but honestly you thought of more than I did. Um, first. This is when I work at, worked at D's. I was carrying one of the really, really big trays because I was a waitress. And I had not dropped food ever while working there. And I was working there for a few months and then... Just happened to drop half of the tray of food. I caught the other half with my hand going in a bowl of spaghetti. <laughs> but I got like sauce all over me and stuff, and it was it was it was embarrassing. On the good side, table who felt bad gave me like a twenty dollar tip. <laughs> I have uh, two jobs. I just got a second one. But my first one, I work as event staff, and I was working a country concert and there was you know lots of junk country guys <laughs> who were very rude um but this one time I didn't know what I was supposed to be doing nobody told me what I was supposed to be doing and this guy um just started yelling at me calling me the b-word and other rude stuff and he pushed me too. And yeah, made me cry. I'm just pretty bad. Alright. Also, when I worked at D's, I had a child uh, who was there with his dad. He s puked up the split pea soup that he just ate all over the bench and everything. And I had to bribe someone 20 bucks to clean it up for me because I was not doing it. But also on the bright side, somebody else gave me a $50 tip because they felt bad. <laughs> Second highest tip I've ever gotten. At my newest job, I, you know, take care of dogs. I mean, I'm in training right now. All I pretty much do is clean. But, um, we were washing down, like, the patio. Because sometimes poop stains. <laughs> and... Um, they had a broken hose, and so water was like going everywhere, but they told me to keep wa washing down the patio, so I got soaked in water. Totally soaked. This is like a, a couple of days ago. But they had an extra pair of, um... At least it was water. <laughs> they had an extra pair of shirts, not pants though. <laughs> so I got a dry shirt. <laughs> Alright, um, well, when I did housekeeping at a Motel 6, I found a lot of gross stuff like Viagra and used condoms and drug needles and stuff. And I also had a, a lot of weird homeless men hitting on me and asking for my number. And it was just a bad place to work. I don't recommend it. So this is my first time working a jazz game, which is basketball if you don't know. Um... But they have like specific stuff that people at Centennial can go in. Not people who actually work at work, work, work with the jazz because we were just extra help. And um, I didn't know that, and so I kind of went into the arena, and I got yelled at, <laughs> saying that I didn't need to be there. I was supposed to be somewhere else. But, you know, it was my first time working there. They didn't give me specific directions, so that's my excuse. <laughs> <laughs> it's their fault. Yes. <laughs> Blame it on them. Alright. Uh, I worked with, uh, in I'm like, elementary school in the behavioral unit with all the kids who had behavior problems. And there was this one child in particular who punched me a lot. I got punched a lot and kicked and... I never ended up finding out what his deal was with me. Um, then they ended up firing me for stealing money. Which I really didn't. They just didn't put in the sick day for me like they were supposed to. So technically it was their fault. But I stole money so they fired me. 
Whatever. Um, oh. <clears throat> this was also my first time working at USANA Amphitheater. It's my first time going there. Um, since I'd never been there, I didn't really know what it looked like. And I got there late and went to the wrong place where we were supposed to meet. Like, I was on the other end of the amphitheater. <laughs> I was parked over there, and we weren't allowed to park over there, but I got away with it. And I just got lost, and I'd ask every single person where I was, which I don't like asking people. And like last week, I had gotten my makeup done, and we all looked really good and everything that day. I was slicing tomatoes like I do every day, because it's one of my jobs. And one of these tomatoes just decided to squirt this juice straight lined all over my face. Luckily, nobody saw because that would have been really embarrassing. So I could go to the bathroom, wipe it off, and then I went back to try it again, and it still had juice left and squirted me again. I dodged most of it that time, but I was, I said screw it at the end and grabbed a different tomato. Okay, so <clears throat> well, Luke Bryan came to Utah twice, and I was going to work both days. And the first time that they came, that was when the drunk guy yelled at me. And then the second time I went there to work, my car broke down. And I didn't know what to do. And so I called, I, I texted Shay. And she said that she would come down to try to help. Which, she was, she was a little bit of help. I stayed with you. You yeah. went lonely on the side of the room. Yeah, she did help. And she got to drive my car. Bob came by so that we couldn't stay there and so we had to push it that's when I drove her car I pushed it somewhere else and then my boyfriend is a really you know big car guy and so I that was an understatement <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah he really loves cars he came down to help and he fixed the problem <laughs> I'm never gonna work a Luke Bryan concert ever again <laughs> I mean, I love him, but I guess he has bad luck. <laughs> if you have any bad work experiences, comment them down, down below and share them and we'll read them and whatnot. Um, thank you for liking and commenting and subscribing. <laughs> don't, uh, don't forget to share this video with uh, all your friends on Facebook, all your social media. You people you don't like. Yeah. Cause people who aren't your friends. That homeless guy. One on more the and we're at 50. That's far as the last time I checked. So yeah, be our 50th subscriber because you're awesome. <laughs> and we'll s you'll see us next Wednesday. Yes. <laughs> Bye. Kind of one another.